Hello, my name is Pal. Uh, this is going to be a video of unboxing of the Microtech RB5009 series and uh, rack mount ears for the RB5009 series. Um, so I'll show you how, what comes in the package and how to put it together and things I've noticed uh, while looking at this. So, the package is really nice. Inside the package you'll see that you'll have your instructions manual. Uh, which is great, uh, a few different languages and it looks like they have a QR code here too that you can take a look at, uh, haven't looked at it yet so uh, there's the power supply, it's actually a quite, a quite large power supply it's uh, definitely uh, probably about the size of uh, a small laptop power supply but it has the uh, plugs right in here so that you can use uh, for the, on the front of the router, and then you have, the power, you have your router itself. So the router is uh, eight ports. Looks like it's split into two ports. Uh, this one says 2.5 of G, which is great. Um, you have a USB 3 and SFP plus. Uh, this is for your power supply and the reset button. Not sure what the one and two lights probably are for. Uh, I'm assuming which power supply it's using. So you can also power it up through here. So uh, I just noticed on the bottom of the box they also have feet for this thing. So I guess they assume that you could put it on a desk. And yes, you can plug the feet right in here. Three and four. And this has a nice heat sink. So this is all metal on the bottom. And then you have uh, the casing is plastic. And you can uh, mount four of these in one view of the rack mount. Uh, I'm going to be only mounting one, but uh, there it is. And then let's see here, they also gave you screws. And I guess they assume that you might want to uh, mount it to a wall or some wooden device or something I uh, wouldn't uh, recommend doing that but um, if you want to you can choose so and I guess you would use these four screw holes right there all right so let's take a look at what's inside of here so let me just put that away so you can see the light properly, open that up, and inside it looks like these ears are convertible, and they give you some screws too, uh, lots of screws here, uh, no instruction manual, but um, I guess you, we can figure this out. Um, so the one thing I did notice is that there's an L here and an R here, so I'm assuming this is the right side, this is the left side for the mounting. And I guess it goes right in here, so you would mount it through here. And I guess uh, for the two units, you would mount the second one on top here, like, like so. Here. And then put the screws right in, inside so depends how you want to mount it um, you can mount it on top or on the bottom I'll probably um, go with the bottom mounted uh, just because it'll look better in my in my um, rack um, I guess these you would pop out if you had multiple of them and then you would break these off and use these for the outer uh, um, mounts and then these would be for the inner mounts to mount um, them probably like this so, so these pieces would go on the inside right here to mount the two together and then the second one would be for the 
the top ones like that. All right, so that's it. I'll probably uh, add a little bit to this video after I put it all together, but it's pretty much easy peasy. So coming back to this, I just uh, found the right tool. So this is a two and a half millimeter uh, wrench uh, for um, for these screws. So basically, um, I was looking at this, and and these screws fit, fit just perfectly in here. So I'm just going to use that guy again, two and a half millimeters. Um, so the easiest way to put this is to actually put the put the um, device upside down and stick it right on top and then you can plug in your screws right there and get it all going so the final product will look something like Oops, not having good luck here. But, um, let's try to put the back one in first. So, there we go. Put, uh, we'll pull out four screws out of here and just uh, put them in one at a time. screw for the other side so again I'm just putting it this way so the third screw will go in here Fourth one right here. So they are a little bit tight, just so you know. It's not uh, super simple that you can just like flip the wrench and it will tighten itself. I thought I was doing something wrong at first, but uh, after examining this a little bit, it's just a little tight, that's all. Better tight than not tight, because then, uh, then you know how much, uh, how well you've screwed it in. And don't over tighten it, just when you feel the resistance, stop. just to show you here So that's it. So basically you just tighten it to this. This thing is super light. It, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's quite light. So it uh, goes into the rack like that. And I will put it in my rack and I'll resume the video so you guys can see what it looks like in the rack. And just to give you an overview, I installed it in my portable uh, Microtech um, 
rack. As you can see, it's 1U. It uh, hooks up really nicely. It's a really nice rack. I just picked it up as well uh, to uh, uh, to install for somebody. Um, but uh, I'll be re actually replacing this uh, my re my existing Microtech RB3011 uh, with this guy, and then putting the RB11 in here. So stay tuned. I'll probably show you a video how. I removed the Microtech uh, 3011 and put this guy into my other rack. Alright, take care guys. Have a good day.